Hello everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be working on a cool little project that I call the Fisherman's Pen. It's a uh, tiny fishing kit inside of a, uh, a regular ballpoint pen. Nothing fancy. In fact, uh, this is probably the most, uh, the most basic version of a ballpoint pen you can find. Alright, so the parts. I have a pen. Uh, no, no, there's no fruit involved in this. Thank you very much. Um, I have three different types of hooks here. I have a, uh, a size 6 hook, a size 10, and then I had to get this out of the fly tying section, but a tiny little size uh, 16. See if I can get that on the camera. Yep. So, let's see. I have elastics from braces. These little tiny rubber bands, right? And then I have I have heat shrink tubing. Uh, I have two different kinds. I have a, a black opaque one, and then I have this uh, this clear one right here. You can use either one. And then I have a braided fishing line. I don't care what brand, but don't try to use monofilament because it's just going to turn into this tiny little curly cue uh, that does not want to unwind. You want braided fishing line, all right? Uh, can be whatever you want. I've got eight pound test. I probably would not go heavier than that unless, unless maybe you're specifically going for something like catfish. If you have that in your area, okay, I I understand. Uh, that's about it. oh, uh, tools. A drill it doesn't have to be this beefy of a monster. It can be just your uh, regular. Uh, you can be corded. It doesn't have to be uh, any kind of special thing. We're just going to use that to wind the uh, the line. Of course, some scissors would be handy, some kind of cutting tool. And then either uh, a heat gun or even a hair dryer would do. And you could probably get away with even like a lighter or matches if you were, um, if you really had to. All right. So, first thing, take our pen. Wiggle it around a little bit, but I'm going to open this up and get the core out. All right. And I'm going to take a moment to go get the tape that I realized that I forgot to put here. Okay, there we go. I've got all this is right here is that I've taken another ballpoint pen, put it in my vise to hold the fishing line. So I've got the core for my pen, I've got my just regular household tape. piece off. There we go. I'm going to tape the end of the fishing line onto. Right, there we go. I'm going to tape the end of the fishing line onto my. Uh, my ballpoint pen core. Let me move this out a little bit. There we go. There we go. I'm going to take my drill and chuck this up just like you would a drill bit. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to use my fingers here to put just a little bit of tension on that. So I'm, I'm grabbing it with these right here. And I'm going to, uh, don't get too persnickety with this, don't get too, uh, don't be a perfectionist. You're just going to run it up and down until you get approximately the width of this little stopper bit at the end here. So, here we go. You can see where this would be very tedious if I were trying to do it manually. Oh. 
I'm going to end with my my uh, my line down here at the uh, the base of the <clears throat> at the base of the pen. Excuse me. Hey now, knock it off. There we go. Take my scissors. Now, I'm going to take one of these little um, dental elastics for uh, people with braces, and I'll put one of those on there. Kind of tricky. I'll feed that line through. Do once. If I only do this once, it it will kind of hold. It doesn't hold that great. You know what? I could probably get away with only doing that once. I've been looping it over twice, but I think that is actually going to be enough to hold it in there. Okay. Moving on to the next part. Okay, back over here, we're going to take the pen body, take the cap, and we're just going to see right about where that fits. Just make a mental note of that. You can mark it if you really want to. I don't find that to be necessary too often. And what we're going to do is we're going to take another one of these, uh, these dental elastics. We're going to stretch that little guy out and put it around that pen. You want to be well below uh, where that uh, the cap is going to stop. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our, our largest hooks here, our, our size 6, and one at a time we're going to slide them underneath that elastic. All right. So I have them there arranged almost like a uh, almost like a treble hook, if you can see that. And if you notice, these uh, the barbs are just a little bit the points I should say are just a little bit offset. They're at an angle to the uh, the shank there. And I'm going to take these. I'm going to fold them over so that that point now rests against the body of the pen and the head, the, the eye right there wants to sit flat. Now, get out my, you know, never mind, we'll use a black one. Uh, get out my heat shrink, set that over the hooks, and here's where I want to be mindful of where that cap is coming down. I want to be able to put that just below where that cap is going to be. So let me move that up just a little bit. Now, heat gun, hair dryer, what have you. There we go. It almost looks, especially when I have the uh, the black heat shrink on it as compared to uh, the clear heat shrink, it almost looks as if this is a little grippy thing that you're supposed to use to help you write with and, and uh, help you use proper form holding your pen. And we're almost done. We're going to take 
our our tiny little size 16 hooks drop them down there our size tens again just drop them down and they're going to come uh, sit down here on the bottom of the pen uh, yep there we go you see that and then we take our the shaft of the pen here and we've got it all wrapped up with all our cord all our uh, fishing line set it right in there Boom, you are ready to go. So hopefully you got something cool out of that. A um, little backstory for those who care. I was actually, this was an unintentional uh, design. I was sitting in class, one of these, you know, these training things that you have to go through every year at my, at my job. And I was just kind of bored and taking my pen apart. And it struck me that the the little bottom part right here would would actually be about the right size for some tiny fish hooks that I remember seeing. Uh, actually, it, it was part of a fishing kit that came that you could get in Japan. Uh, my dad was stationed there for a few years while he was in the military, and these little Japanese kids would go out and they would just catch minnows like, like that big, uh, put them on a skewer stick, make a little fire there by the the uh, the levy and just that, that would be their lunch they'd catch their lunch in in these little minnows uh, which is kind of cool and i thought that would that would fit in the bottom of that pin really well and then as it i started trying to figure out the different details of how to make a fishing kit inside of here um th this is sort of coalesced in my mind and uh the first one i tried actually did have monofill line that's where i figured out that monofill doesn't work and you just create a giant uh tangle of, of fishing line because it wants to coil up tight and, and hold that form. Anyway, uh, that's all I got for today. Hope you have a wonderful day. Invite you to get out in nature. Go do great stuff. Go do some cool stuff. And uh, above everything else, y'all take care of each other. All right?